Okay, welcome back to Dakota Planet Student Spotlight, episode 70 you are. I'm Keegan Ames. Uh, what grade are you in? I am a senior. So how's that senior year been going for you this year? Uh, it's the, it's the busiest I've been in my school life so far. It's, there's a lot going on. So. Why, is, uh, why is this year the busiest? I decided to take three hours of choir, and I'm also doing show choir, and I'm doing the musical, and... Three hours of show choir, wow. Not show choir, just normal oh, choir. Oh, just normal choir? Show choir's after school. So what does your entire agenda look like? Uh, go to government, and then I go to math, and then I go to my independent study in choir, and then I go into mixed varsity choir, and then I go into men's choir, and then I'm back to English, and uh, then most Almost every day after school, we have show choir and Mamma Mia rehearsal. Okay. Until um, 8.30. So we've already done an interview on the Mamma Mia. Can you give us a little bit more specifics that may have not been said? Uh, the show times are the first two weeks of February, the first, second, and third, and the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Okay. Um... I've also heard that you are another lead role. I'm Sam. You're Sam. Yeah. And who, remind us, who is Sam in Mamma Mia? Sam. For those that may have not watched the last episode. Uh, Sam is the architect. He is um, uh, the one that Donna was first dating before the events of Mamma Mia happened. Okay. Um, so you're another one of the potential fathers. Yes. Okay. Um... So what all do you do? I've, I've covered the entire story of Mamma Mia. How about you dive into the uh, whole rehearsal and audition aspect of it? Um, it can be a lot, <laughs> but it's fun. It's not like, when you're doing it, you're like, oh wow, this is taking a while. But when afterwards, you're always like, that was pretty fun, actually. Oh, uh, if you're not in certain scenes, you usually don't have to go to rehearsals, but as the leads will are in almost every scene, so we're here till about 8.30 every day. Okay. But it's all just line memorization and memorizing the songs, just doing all that. And Do you guys have like a lot of like props and like scene? Uh, we haven't gotten our scene yet, our, um, uh, our set yet. Oh. Uh, we don't have any of the props yet, but we, those, we are renting those. Okay. Should be an amazing experience. Um, as for the audition aspect, or anyone that might want to do future like shows in the future, what all do they got to do for that? So um, I believe that we usually post um, uh, our auditions and everything. They'll have them on the announcements, usually near the beginning of the school year. For the musicals, there is going to be a play after the musical. Not exactly sure when the um, uh, auditions for that will start, but anybody can do that. Um, uh, anybody can do the musicals, anybody can do the plays, completely separate from any school thing. You do not have to be in a choir class. But um, uh, I believe they will announce the play auditions on the announcements because they did that last year. I'm assuming they're going to do it again this year. Okay. Um, straying away from Mamma Mia, uh, what are your future plans looking like with colleges? Any field of study that you want to go into? Um, I'm planning on going into Macomb to get all the stuff that I, you got to do. I'm going to get do all the stuff that I need to do. And then after that, I'm going possibly to Wayne because I hear they have a very nice um, uh, choral program there. What and uh, field of study do you want to go into? I'm planning on either, I haven't completely determined yet, but I'm planning on either um, uh, performance arts or culinary arts. Okay. Um, so you're going to be a little bit more of an actor, sort of? Yeah. Alright, that's fun. Um, I usually, I've asked this to all the seniors that I've interviewed so far, but how do you feel that this year is going by super quick? I don't, I'm very much a, I'm a, I just go with the flow kind of thing. I don't really 
put too much thought into my actions. I just kind of just, I just go with they're it. Just kind of, they're just kind of there. So I'm just, just kind of, kind of here. I'm just existing while I'm, uh, and the end of high school is closing in. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't really, I try not to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun to think about because if you think about it, we've spent 12, of, 12 years of our life lives dedicated to education and scholarship from kindergarten all the way up to now high school and we're gonna have to go to college and get even more education so there's that um but we've dedicated so much of our lives and we've met so many new friends we've had a lot of good memories looking back on it it's it's been a long ride it's been a fun ride it's been very fun yeah i have made so many friends just specifically through the choir program and Mm -hmm. outside of that as well but uh it's kind of like a family at this point yeah i feel because me personally i've been through i've been across states i've had to switch schools so i've had friends come and go um but usually i always end up making a good amount of friends that I can trust and that I can always know to have my back. Um, and so really, wherever I am, I always have a family. Yeah. Because I always know that I have my brothers. Um, all of my brothers, I always have all my other friends as well that are like my family to me at this point. Yeah. Um, so I get you. I feel like that there's the... I feel like there's a sort of stage when it comes to the high school like high school and like just school in general elementary school is like when you're having your most fun it's recess you got all that you're not really thinking about much middle school you can't wait to get to high school you're a freshman you're excited for the new start sophomore is the i feel like sophomore was my longest year to be honest because probably because of covid Probably, honestly. Um, junior year, you're just like, you got one more year. And I feel like junior years, they don't really realize how much they miss because they're just focused on getting done with it. But then <laughs> when you become a senior, you look back and you actually realize, oh my God, I'm actually going to be gone after this year. And all the time I've spent doing all of this, I'm is going to be gone because I'm going to be in college and I'm going to be pretty much on my own from now on. Um, aside from that, though, we, uh, we have a tradition we like to do with these student spotlights. It's um, something we've been doing since the beginning, episode one, all the way up to now, episode 70. Um, but... We like to ask you, uh, what's one piece of advice you'd give to anyone that's uh, watching right now? Uh, trust yourself before anybody. You know what you want the most out of anybody, and if you think it's a good decision, I think that you're the first person you should ask yourself. That's, that's good. Oh. A lot of people rely on their friends' opinions for a lot of their decisions when in reality you're the one making the final decision, you're the one that has to feel right with it. It doesn't matter what your friends say when you're going to be the one that's going to be going through with these options. Like when I chose the military, like I made that decision on my own. It was none of my friends' influence. Um, some of my friends inspired me to go down because they showed me what I could do with it but once I did all the considering I realized that it was a great idea for me personally so that's how that whole thing ended I feel like don't not a lot of people trust themselves mu- enough to make those major decisions um, I feel like they just go based off of whatever their friends are doing at this point um, but yeah that's a great piece of advice and uh, thank you very much it's been a great interview thank you